Hello guys, Edwin here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to a new video. So as you probably already read in the title, we're building a state capital. So recently, for obvious reason, I've been inspired by the US capital located in Washington DC, of course. Um, so yes, it was probably not the best occasion to get inspired by this bill, which by the way is absolutely incredible and wonderful. Uh, I mean, on a architectural point of view, this is a real masterpiece of American neoclassicism. And yes, I was just inspired by it, but I found that I couldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to build it in The Sims because it's way too large, the dome is way too high. Um, so I couldn't really do it justice. So that's why I decided to get inspired by the many state capitals that you can find in every state of the US, uh, because every state has its own capital with its own government. Um, and yes, every state is run by a governor and every state has its own senate and chamber of representatives. So yes, there are in total 50 state capitals and most of them are built in the style, um, in the neoclassical style, like the one in DC. Um, the most impressive for me is probably the one located in Austin in Texas. Uh, it's really, really big, really impressive, and it's not white, it's in a sort of brown stone color, which is super unusual and beautiful. Um, and it's even higher than the state capital, the US capital in Washington DC. So it was, yes, I didn't think there was a um, state capital higher or more impressive than the US capital in DC. So yes, um, just doing the research for this video was really instructive and I discovered a lot of amazing buildings. So as I told you, most of them are built in the neoclassical style, but some of them are very original and unexpected, I would say, especially the one uh, in Hawaii, which is almost like a UFO. It's super modern, futuristic. Um, I think it belongs to the architectural style called brutalism, kind of. Um, but it's a very interesting build, which is probably impossible to do in The Sims. Um, but anyway, I wanted to stick to a very neoclassical style. I discovered other um, beautiful state capitals like the one in Oregon, which is also very special, very unique, I would say. Um, and some of them also are very random, I think, um, like the one of New Mexico. I don't know why, it just looks like a, a mole. It doesn't have any um, identity, it just looks like a mole without any interesting architectural fitters. And the one which is the most random probably is the one in Alaska. Um, it just looks like a normal office building, but I get it. Um, it's a very, very big state, but it doesn't have much inhabitants. So probably it was not useful to build a huge capital. And also because Alaska is um, a younger state than the others, it has different story. And yes, probably in the 19th century, it was not possible to build such a building in the state. Anyway, for my Sims version of the state capital, I got inspired by all the new classical state capitals. And I mixed some different fitters and different um, items and architectural elements to create my own. So it doesn't refer to any real existing state capital, um, but it has all the um, things you need for a capital. So it has um, big rooms, big halls, big um, corridors, offices, and of course, two chambers uh, for the Senate and the Chamber of Representatives. And yes, also we have a press room, of course, for the press conferences. And there is a sort of reception room that can be used as a restaurant or, you know, just a big room where there are some special events in the capital. 
Um, yes, um, the hardest to do was not the exterior, it was quite easy actually because it's very symmetrical. I just had to copy and paste uh, the different part of the build to recreate it without struggling, uh, recreating everything by hand. I just had to copy paste it, so it was quite easy. But the trickiest part was the, um, one of the two chambers, because once again, when one of the chambers was done, I just had to copy paste it. Um, but it was really tricky because I use many platforms and if you're familiar with the platforms in The Sims 4, it's, well, um, how to say that politely, full of bugs, yes, it just doesn't really work the way it should work. So it was a real struggle just to create different um, levels with the platform and so on. But I finally managed to do something as I wanted it to be. Um, but it took me a really long time. Um, I really hope you enjoy it. And yes. And the funny part also was to create the offices and um, so they're let's say regular offices for, I don't know, senators, representant or member of the staff. And also there is, um, there's two actually big offices. Um, we can say for the speaker of the house or for the, um, you know, the chief of the senate or yes, whatever. Anyone who's important <laughs> in the government. Um, and it was really fun to do because when I was building this, I had some um, House of Cards vibes and I really wanted to give this official and really, um, I don't know really how to say that, uh, really elegant and yes, official style, which um, is kind of impressive and yes, fascinating also, I think. Um, I was and still am a big fan of House of Cards and I love the aesthetic of the, um, the series itself but also of the buildings where it was shot um, like the White House, the Capitol yes, it was just a huge source of inspiration for this build and I hope you will find some House of Cards vibes in this so yes, um, I think I actually told you everything about this build. Um, I will let you discover it by yourself or at least in the end screenshots that you will see after this bit build. And yes, um, I can quickly talk you about, um, tell you about the next build, which is gonna be a star mansion um, located in Delta Valley as usual. Um, it is a big Mediterranean mansion inspired by Khloe Kardashian's mansion. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Kardashian. I mean, I, I don't really care. I know them, but I'm not like, I don't know everything about them or whatever. Um, but I have to say when it comes to mansions, houses or real estate, they have quite a good taste, I would say. And Khloe's house is really beautiful and it was Yes, a great inspiration to create a Mediterranean mansion in The Sims. Um, so I don't tell you much about it because I'm still building it. But yes, what I can tell you is that it's gonna be one of my favorite builds ever, I think. Because it's super detailed and it just has a beautiful style that I like. But that's it, I'm not telling you much about it. Um, as I told you everything, I think it will be time for me to leave you with the end of the video, so I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to tell me in the comments what you think about this build, or what is your experience with this kind of official architecture. If you're American, have you have been to the state capital of your state? Have you ever visited um, the US capital in the... Um, in the capital city, Washington DC. Um, yeah, I would be curious to know what you think about these buildings and what it felt like to go inside and see this big uh, official building. Um, yes, I'm very curious because we don't have this in France. So this is something I cannot experience. So feel free to tell me what it's like. 
and I will be happy to answer your comments. So yes, now I will leave you and I wish you a beautiful day. Bye!